What is algebra? Algebra refers to a mathematical discipline that focuses on solving problems that are represented as expressions. Solving math in real life requires one to understand that certain numbers keep changing and hence can only be properly represented as variables using values like x or y. One can find these variable values using constants and operators such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. When you are taking algebra, you will likely tackle various topics such as algebra fundamentals, logarithms, determinants, and equations, trigonometry, the study of angles and their relationships to planes, equations, linear, and quadratic equations, as well as exponential and logarithmic equations, polynomials, coefficients and variables, matrices, numbers and arrays, equalities and inequalities, look into the relationship between numbers, algebraic geometry, coordinate geometry, lines, conic sections, circles, and ellipses, graphs and functions, function notation, inverse functions, and graphing functions, algebraic techniques, factoring, radical expressions, and complex numbers, advanced algebra, proofs, polynomials, matrices, sequences, and series. As such, we can say that algebra is a wide and diverse discipline that helps us find the unknown in various situations. For this reason, algebra is widely used by people in fields such as construction, computing, graphic design, investment, and many more. What are the branches of algebra? Since algebra is a wide subject that includes several concepts, such as variables and equations, divisions are necessary. These are based on the complexity and concepts covered and are taught, starting from the simplest topics to the most technical ones. Over the years, it has been developed, and there are levels to this subject that you will be exposed to as you advance academically. These are 1. Elementary Algebra, covering basic concepts. This branch is common for lower levels, such as elementary school. In this branch, students will handle simple variables and their relationships to numbers, such as percentages, proportions, and distance, thus helping them acquire a firm grasp of statistics. Economics, Computer Science, and Business 2. Algebra 2 or Advanced Algebra In comparison to elementary algebra, this level is harder as it includes graphical functions, linear systems, rational functions, and polynomials. Usually, this level is undertaken by students towards the end of their high school education from grade 11 and helps prepare them for the next level of algebra. 3. Abstract Algebra Unlike other branches of algebra, abstract algebra does not deal with number systems but rather focuses on structures such as vectors, rings, spaces, and groups. It is largely an undergraduate course and contains concepts such as identity elements, associativity, inverse elements, and binary operations. In the real world, abstract algebra contributes to finding appropriate interest rates, computing, robotics, and many more. 4. Linear algebra. This mathematical discipline combines calculus, to find solutions to vectors, planes, lines, and matrices. The concepts learned in this branch are useful for studying computer science, animation, physics, and geometry since they help calculate speed, distance, and time. 5. Commutative algebra. Focus on the study of commutative rings, their ideals, and modules, this branch is studied by students at the level to help them gain a deeper understanding of geometry and topology. This branch is mainly utilized in the sciences and is particularly focused on string theory. If you are seeking an expert to handle this relatively niche branch of algebra, place your order with us today. What are some important terms in algebra? As a math student, you will come across many different terms. 
Below are some of the most common ones, variables a symbol, a letter used to represent an unknown number in an expression or equation, constant refers to a quantity e, that is known e, dot g4, expression variables and constants e, dot g, x3 e, equation a mathematical expression that shows that two expressions are equal e, dot g, x, 2 is equal to 5, linear equation and an equation with variables on both sides both of which are multiplied by a constant e dot g y equals mx b quadratic equation any equation where the one exponential value is a square array dot g x2 bx c equals zero coefficient a real number in an equation by expression e dot g6 y polynomials an expression consisting of both coefficients and variables Absolute value refers to a number's distance from zero, algebraic fraction fraction, where both the numerator and denominator are algebraic expressions. Why do students dislike algebra? Many students dread learning algebra and its many concepts to the extent that it is the most failed high school and college course, thus leading students to miss out on their dream degree course. Some of the reasons include 1. Math is seen as abstract with little to no real-life application or personal connection, so they do not see its value, and the teacher will have difficulty keeping them focused. 2. Educators have trouble managing the entire class's needs, hence, some students lag behind. 3. It is technical and has several rules and equations. 4. Students struggle with memorizing rules and often enter the wrong equation values in their algebra calculator, leading to wrong answers, and in math, there is only one right answer. 5. Mathematical concepts require constant revision, and many students are unable to dedicate time to studying it. If you are facing similar issues, feel free to place your order with our Algebra Help online free services today.